Yes, it's me, Rickus46, and welcome back to another LEGO City set review. Um, this time it's LEGO set 60136, and it's a LEGO City police set. As you can obviously tell, standard cops and robbers. Anyways, uh, I'm on to the figurines, or minifigures, whatever you want to call them. These guys have no, like, printing, so... I'm sorry. Um, if you'll focus... There, you can see his walkie-talkie, and he has his badge, shirt pocket. He has a police logo, and uh, another walkie-talkie. Kinda weird, considering now that he has three, plus... Three, including that one over there, but I'll get to that later. Um, this one's a female police officer. These only started appearing, I think, I believe, back in 2013. But, anyways, um, she has a badge along with, well, what do you know? A walkie talkie. And a belt with a pocket on it. She carries a pair of handcuffs. Set comes with two pairs, so you can cuff both of them, but. She has a police logo and a walkie-talkie on her back. Now if it will focus, you can actually see that. I think it might be because I'm holding it too close to the camera. There you go. Anyways, um... There's a female robber. These only started appearing as of now a couple of years ago. I believe these like this year is pretty much the first time I've really ever noticed them. She's got the torso, and the hair is covering it up. But she's got a utility belt and you saw that she has a hammer. Don't know how that would be useful when you have a jackhammer, but anyways, here's the criminal. This guy's the only person in the set who actually has leg printing. He has some stains on there. Don't really know from what, considering that they're darker red than most of his most of his trousers. I'm assuming probably liquid. Don't know what though. Blood, we may never know. Ah, my my phone. <laughs> Dang it. Um, every time my phone's battery gets low, it gets into battery saving mode. And it really cuts the quality short. I don't really like that. It takes it a bit longer to focus, but there you go. You can see his torso. Along with the TNT. And backpack covers up his back but since I'm carrying it with one hand and I don't have any extra time and I don't want to do any extra takes I guess I'll show it in another video but anyways um, this is the ATM they're trying to rob as a $100 bill it's a printed tile there are no stickers in this entire set so that's a good thing I do not like stickers. I usually had my parents put them on for me. Anyway, there's a little lever back here where I don't. If you push it, pushes that out. Um, the safe contains two of those pieces, as you can see. Anyways, now on to the last part of the set. Um, this police little thing. Police cart? Um, canine transport. Yeah, I'm just gonna call it a canine transport. I think this is actually the police starter kit. I might be wrong. I'll look it up afterwards and correct myself in the description or in the title. Anyways, it's a pretty neat looking vehicle. It's got some big wheels, there's a dog on the back, there's the police light, there's the walkie-talkie that the other cop's supposed to be holding. 
Anyways, that's pretty much the set. Oh no. <laughs> uh, let me set these guys up. I have no idea why I decided to bring a TNT and a little stick of dynamite to where he's supposed to be getting out an ATM. Seems kind of counterproductive because it would blow up the safe along with it. Again, who knows? I'm not a robber. But, anyways, um, that's pretty much it. Um, I, right now I'm pre recording because I don't think I'll get a chance to in the morning. I'm taking this right when I'm uploading my one about the Rebel Trooper Battle Pack. But, anyways, um, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you want, anyways. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And goodbye.